Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Since you've been the one reaching out for excuses to hang out, let me be the one this time. Do you want to hang out tomorrow as well? Do you have any experience building computers? Yeah, I built my own. App! Being me! Good, come over to my place tomorrow. If you help me put the other graphics card in, then it'll save me some work. Yeah, your place? You mean, where you live? The sounds of insects and distant cars fill the air as I arrive at the door to my apartment. Just in time for my stream to start. I reach into my pockets to pull out my keys, only to feel the softness of fabric. I check my other pockets on the off chance I had decided to put my keys in a different location. Did I really leave the keys to my apartment at Michael's place? Oh no, game! You already do this way, this way! She must still be up. I guess I'll give her a call. Pause my stream while she's still singing. Guess I can afford to miss a little bit of the song. I call Makoto's number and put my phone to my ear. I hear my phone ring twice before being sent to voicemail. Hmm? Only ring twice? Did she reject the call? Guess I'll try ring the doorbell once I'm there. <gasps> oh, bro. No. Bro. Bro. Stop. I know. You need your keys. But you will get a bit disappointed. Or not. Again, it could be that he gets this... Oh, nice. I said I know that now. Move on with my life. Could be that. Or not. I'll pull up. I'll pull up on a stream again to see that I hadn't missed too much of the song. After a few seconds, I hear the sounds of a phone ringing. It's coming from Mana's stream. Mana's voice wavers and she starts going into a mini panic mode. I can hear the sounds of Mana picking her phone up from her desk. The sound of the phone is silence after two rings. Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot to mute my phone for the stream. It's nothing important. Sorry, sorry. I start the song over. I'm frozen in, a, in place as Mana starts the song over again. That was just a coincidence, right? But what are the odds that the events are exactly the same and the timing is almost perfectly aligned with the stream? I mean, there's a delay, so there's no way I'll try calling Makoto Mar one more time. I call Makoto once again to hear it continue swinging. No response. The prompt to leave a voicemail is the only thing I hear. Maybe Makoto is just as deep and that's why she's not answering. Why did it only ring twice before? And now it's ringing all the way to the moist well after Mana said she muted her phone. I swallow and take a deep breath before making my way closer to Makoto's house. I reach the gate of her house with my phone still in hand. Mana is currently chatting in between songs. I reach my finger to the door for the doorbell, but hesitate to press it. I'm unsure if this is what I should be doing. The desire to confirm my suspicions is so strong and I'm fighting every existing belief I have that this knowledge should be kept secret. No, there's no possible way. They're completely different people. And I have to get my keys or else I won't be able to go back. I really am stupid for thinking this. Let's just press it. Oh, famous last words. I finally get the strength to push the doorbell. I can see my hand shaking. Marina continues to talk like normal. Each second that passes feels like an eternity. I concentrate on every word that is spoken through my phone. Five seconds pass. Six. Seven. I heard the faint sound of a doorbell. And I see Mana's model perk up. Sorry for the interruption, guys. I'll be right back. Don't blow everything up while I'm gone. I can feel my heart racing as I swallow. My eyes are locked on the front door of Makoto's house. After what feels like an eternity, 
I hear the sounds of the door being unlocked. Makoto walks out, her typical casual mannerism showing as she approaches. She opens her mouth and what comes out is that familiar, tired voice. Hey, I saw that you called and now I see that you're standing outside my house again. Didn't I say that I was busy? Did you miss me there? Makoto stops before the gate, pauses after seeing the expression on my face. I don't even know what expression I was showing. Was it shock? Happiness? Anger? Excitement? Disappointment? All of the above? Yeah, all of the above, plus a bit more. What's with that expression? Is something wrong? Are you... Anna? What? Makoto stops after you think that Mana's unusual background music is playing faintly from my phone. Time freezes and the only sound that can be heard is the sound of Mana's medium. Ex Makoto. What feels like 10 minutes to come to a realization. Her expression immediately changes. Her eyes widen and she starts breathing heavily. Hey, it... it's not... You can hear the deep breaths that Makoto has to take in between her words. And I'm able to form my own words to say. Makoto knows that there isn't a way to get out of this situation. If she's to return, the timing will just further confirm my suspicions. If she's... If she is to stay here, then I would just end up doing the same. I can see terror and confusion in her expression. The surge of thoughts and emotions rushing through my mind. It's overpowering any decision to say something to alleviate the situation. I need to say something. Anything! I uh, left my keys in your room, I think. Oh, uh, let me get them real quick. Makoto walks quickly back into her house, her steps erratic. Minutes pass as I stand outside. Suddenly I hear the voice of Mano. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but something important just came up. I'm going to have to end the stream here. Hey, it's nothing bad, I promise. I'll see you everybody at my anniversary stream. Yes, Mana. The stream immediately ends without transitioning to Mana's outro. Her voice was shaky and out of breath. The realization hits me that this actually is the same voice as the one I've been hearing that as little to no life to it. After a few minutes, Makoto comes out with my keys in hand. Here. Thanks. Thanks be the keys, <laughs> and then we both stand in silence, not making eye contact. Makoto is the first to break the silence. You know, don't you? What are you? What even are my options here? It's obvious to both of us at this point. Blowing dumb might just make her angry. Yeah. Give me some time to process this. I'll message you tomorrow night. Uh, okay, and I won't tell anyone. Have more faith in my trust. I know you're not the type of person to try and spread it. Hmm? Please, don't reach out to me until I message you. I need some time to myself. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow then. Night. Watch as Makoto turns and walks back into her house. I just stand in place, even after the door has shut behind her. I don't know what happened after that. The next thing I knew, I was in my room, staring at my ceiling. I was unaware, unaware of anything happening around me. There was only one thing I could focus on. Makoto. VTuber. God Okay, sorry. Sorry, I wanted to make a big BitConnect joke here, but... And I'm gonna save here. I lie in bed, still processing where the events that had transpired were just a dream. I don't know how long it's been since I arrived home, but I'm unable to fall asleep. I breathe heavily, my heart still pounding from the rush of emotions I'm feeling. So Makoto is mana. I think that would explain a lot of things, but that just makes everything else even more confusing. Like how is she so extroverted? Well, in reality, she's not. I just know that why, why? Hmm. Changing stuff. Why are they so different? Or are they? 
I mean, I guess they have a similar way of messing with people. Hmm. But how are their are their voices coming from the same person? Man is so positive and helpful, but Makoto seems like the soul has been sucked out of her. I also forgot that this is, this game is kind of relatable. <clears throat> many many times. And um, no comment about this. Makoto, who's so hard on herself, and Mana, who's still object of everyone's attention. I had always thought VTubers, Mana especially, were these unreachable figures of kindness, virtuing strength. Welcome to content creation, where if you actually show your real self, you are basically a nobody. I would like to have some uh, some inspiring words right now, but <laughs> <laughs> should I be angry at Makoto that Makoto is completely different? If so, then why aren't I? Shouldn't I be calling her a liar and a coward? Is that even fair? All I can feel right now is confusion, of course, and excitement. A sudden realization hits me. I've been interacting with Mana this entire time. This is something everybody only dreams about. I mean, yeah, I, can't, I mean, yeah, that is, that is a fact. But at the same time, well. Is it really good though? I only get to see her on stream and can never make their existence known. Maybe you can get a bit of attention by donating, but I at the utmost. Everybody will never even get acknowledged. Maybe it is just me or the music is really strong right now. And I've been able to interact with her in person, even spending time alone with her. Building her new computer and her second one. Heck, I've been inside Mana's room alone with her. My brain for this is a second for the first half of that sentence. I've been inside Mana. <laughs> I know my editing me will probably will probably have a little break in there, or we'll just cover it the whole other thing there. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, editing me, uh, past me. Yeah, I knew it. Right? Shut up. Anna has been voluntarily interacting with me this entire time. Surely that means she has an interest in me, right? Oh boy, you go into a direction that no one really likes. I can be someone special to a person like Mana. Yeah, we go that direction. The direction of... Oh, I know your secret identity now, so I will completely change my personality now. Or the way I talk with you. Kind of reminds me of this one quote. Or, well, technically this one dialogue in a game. I don't remember remember which one. It was something like, "Don't put people on the pedestal just because they're dead." What kind of a response is that? You should stop putting girls on the pedestal and treat them as equals. Otherwise, you'll never find a real partner. You know. Like, we are people. We are the same. We should be, well, treated equally. Doesn't mean if, well, other ginger, other gender, other status, or other, well, ident secret identity. How many people can only dream of this situation? Please stop. And more so that I know her identity. How many people know this beside me? Besides me? I mean, Makoto doesn't seem to interact with too many people, so it must. Only be me, right? Bro, stop! I 
pull up my phone and open the private browser and start searching for any indication that Mana's identity is known on the internet. Stop, bro! There's no concrete evidence for any speculations. Only wild assumption built on desperate grasp of information. These are all completely wrong. Nobody knows a thing. I'm very likely the only one who knows. This is actually crazy. Bro, stop! One day I'm just any one of her tens of thousands of years. And the next I figure out I've been spending time with her alone. I don't know how long I spent awake in the bed that night. The adrenaline wouldn't be rough. Even after multiple hours of browsing the web for praise about mana. I'm pretty sure I've exhausted every top comment section on all her of her words. Everybody's praising her. It's the person that I'm special to. Bro, you still... You're still in the... Oh yeah, I know now. I'm literally directly interact with Mana. But what about Makoto? Think about her. Which is just uh, weird, but it makes sense. The last thing I remember before following a CPC clip of Mana's... When I open my eyes, I'm greeted by the brightness of a sun long past dawn. I feel a bit sick as I turn my head to look at my phone, realizing that I didn't get much sleep. I immediately recall the events of the night prior and I'm once again unable to contain my thoughts. The feeling in my chest has grown to be almost crippling. The intense aching of a fresh infatuation overwhelms any other sensation I'm feeling. It's already noon. How many hours of sleep did I even get? I still have so much time before Makoto contacts me. I don't even feel like eating. Maybe can, I can wait until tonight. And even with Makoto, I'm sure we have a lot of things to talk about. Yeah, but please don't overdo it because, hey, it's still Makoto, it's not Mano. I look at my phone at Makoto's contact. No, I shouldn't. I just have to wait until tonight. Yeah. Put my phone back down and start daydreaming to pass the time. I go through scenarios where I'm seen as Mana's partner. No matter how impossible they are. Bro, you are doing completely tough the stuff that I hate. And I would like to slap ya. Maybe Mana mentions that there is someone that she's been seeing and everybody starts getting jealous. Could be a thing, but uh, <laughs> if she's an independent YouTuber, okay, this 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 is her own thing. If she is under a contract, however, well, um, especially with an idol agency, <sighs> well, um, this is not good for her. I'll end mine before you. Maybe some chat logs are leaked, or she see, or she sends me suggestive messages. Bro, stop it! Maybe I'm out with Makoto, and I hear other people talking about how amazing Mana is. Bro, this continued on for hours. Yeah, you still think of? Oh yeah, I give a, I, I have a lot of gain from this information. But again. What about Makoto? You still think... Oh. Again. I know Mana directly. I can interact with her directly. And Makoto is like she's not even there. Which is actually weird right now if I think about it. The question Makoto asks, asked is basically what kind of happens here. Because, well, it's like Mana is now literally there, a real person, and not just, well, a, v a VTuber to watch. And, ah, uh, it's really weird, in, in my opinion. Maybe somebody else thinks different, I don't know, but, um, yeah. Probably this is also why I want to be a Roman, but also Armin. Because both of them are actually the same person. 
and I want to be people should interact with me that I'm the same person that they don't talk with Armin they talk with Roman even if online in discord in a voice chat or or on stream hmm hmm Anyway, basic white bottle. Every hour that puzzle passed, just served to indulge in my own thoughts and strengthen the feelings I had. My heart felt like it would jump out of my chest every time my phone would get any notification. The subsequent disappointment at seeing that it wasn't from Makoto would feel equally as powerful. Ooh. Eventually the message from Makoto came at around the time when the sun was starting to set. Can you meet me at the beach for in a bit, like in 30 minutes? I take deep breaths to calm myself as I come to terms that this isn't a dream. Yeah? Okay, I'll see you soon. Wait, 30 minutes? I still need to take a shower and change clothes! I rush through all my long overdue task of freshening up for the day and head to the beach. VTuber CONNECT! And finally do this joke. <laughs> because it was a bit connect <clears throat> Anyway, it doesn't take long for this shore orange with the warm glow of the sun to enter my vision. Despite not having much time to prepare, I arrived five minutes earlier than the agreed upon time. Oh, so mean you took only 25 minutes? That was a quick shot, prob probably. I can feel my anticipation rising as I approach the shore. I step onto the sand and start looking for any sight of Makoto. Eventually I catch a slight sight of a familiar figure looking out at the ocean. The rush of emotions from seeing Makoto is unlike anything I felt before from being with her. I'm seeing her in a completely different light than before. Bro, don't overdo it. <coughs> Just have this in your head. <laughs> what a place. <coughs> Please. Please. Still have this, those thoughts in your head and maybe in your heart. But not out of your mouth, because mm, it only goes downhill from here. I mean, it can only go can can only go go downhill here. Currently, we are still on the on on the cliff, and he only needs to take one step, one word, and we just go down. Put the show down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, she turns to me when she notices my presence. She looks even worse than usual. Yeah, probably because she was worried that you would probably expose her. Was it because I found out about her secret? Yep, I I take this for a hundred. <laughs> you look like you didn't get any sleep at all. That's what I should be saying. Are you okay? No, I've been better. Makoto returns a weak smile, but I can see her visibly trembling. Her expression shifts to a more fearful, pained look. What's with that expression? I didn't necessarily expect her to be ecstatic. <clears throat> ecstatic that her secret's out. But if she trusted me to keep it to myself, then isn't it better that... She has someone that she can talk about her secret with. Yeah. Michael just sadly stands there, her eyes occasionally shifting to me. Does she have something that she wants to say? Well, probably. Don't force her though. Maybe we can ease up the mood so that she can calm her, calm down. So. Uh, oh, bro, bro. So your money? That sure was a surprise. I know what I've guessed. Makoto's expression just becomes more pained and terrified. Yeah. 
I hope the next few sentences have something with to that have the the conch. I I don't know the f the right word for it, but have the similar meaning of oh, let's go. So now what? Am I making it worse? <laughs> Again, just one step. Is it because she thinks it's a bad thing? Yeah, probably. Isn't it a good thing? No, it is. It is for you a good thing. For her, it's worse. Like maybe, maybe she has a bad. It was already a different VTuber back then, but because she then got bullied, or it just got real worse because. If you look up her old name, her old VTuber name, you find out it is so bad. So that's why she changed her. She just moved away from the, their previous place and now, is now under a new VTuber name. And I should re consider reading. Continue reading. Isn't it a good thing that I know that she's this amazing person? Keep it in your head, bro. You're pretty amazing, though. And you're this huge VTuber that inspires so many people. Mm -hmm. No, that's not. It's true. I was thinking that you're just this negative person, but you managed to keep positive and smile through as mana. Uh, you are separating mana and Makoto. Big even though. Again, the questions from Makoto in the in the beginning. Hmm. Stop. Yes, he should stop. I would slap you. I slap him. You mentioned that your goal was to become a strong, beautiful, and happy person. Mm -hmm. I think as well you have shown that you're all of those. Pro, stop. Stop it! I flinch at Makoto's outburst. Understandable! But at the same time, it is your. It's Shoma's own fault. This is the first time I've ever heard her shout like that. Stop it, please. Just stop. I'm not any of that. I'm taking a back at her reaction. She looks more pained than I've ever seen her before. Yes, and at this moment, Shoma remembers... Oh, wait. Oh, I get it now. And uh, for anybody who's watching the stream, has no idea what I mean. J just go to my YouTube channel. There's, there's the highlight video of the first of the first half kind of, of the first stream. Well, <clears throat> by him. What do you mean? You really don't get it, do you? The last time somebody... <laughs> <laughs> My brain just immediately had a little flashback. I say only, oh, hi, Sayori. I just came to your house because, well, I just wanted to check on upon you because you, of the way, because you left while well, the club uh, yesterday. Oh, you want to tell me a secret? You have what uh, since your whole life? You have what since your whole life? Say, don't you remember all of those the conversations we've had about mana? Or just about identity about entity identity in general? Yeah. Oh show, show me suddenly. Oh.